it's us. <laughs> Bro, this light is so amazing. But you're a Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. Today's video, we're going to be making our way down to my boy's car show. Well, car meet. It's a night meet. Pause. And, uh, yeah, man. It should be fun. Go see how, how it turns out. The last one was pretty big. This one should be a little bit bigger. Hey, yo. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get there. Literally two twin supers, bro. That is fire. Look at the super lineup, bro. Just going all the way down. And then you got this Cadillac that messes up everything. But yo, this is fire. Look at that. Put the light on for you guys. Damn, look at that. I think his headlights need to be adjusted. So freaking fire, bro. Sheesh. Thank you. Watch out. What's up, little nigga? Hey, you shopping with Zubin? <laughs> uh, Bro, this gives me like Need for Speed vibes. Like, this is crazy. Got an RX-7 right here, R33, R34, NSX. Two, two NSXs, two NSXs, bro. It's like a freaking car enthusiast dream lineup right here. This car meets actually turned out pretty nice. Hopefully you guys can hear me with the music in the background, but yeah. Car meets turned out really nice. My boy put out a good car meet like always. Like I said before, this is like a crazy lineup behind us. I don't know why somebody's just in the way. But yeah, it's like a crazy lineup behind us. It's fire, bro. Completely fire. And there's more cars coming out. Just waiting for them. <laughs> Again, so, I, so we can get our reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I don't know if he's gonna do it again. Oh, two up the hole. R7. R7 got crazy two steps too, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna do it on here. So is this? Oh, oh, here's the reaction. They swap. This is the EF. This is wild. This is actually crazy. It's a brand new day today, man. Got Dusty open right here. And uh <laughs> there's something that happened to Dusty, and I've been driving the car for like two weeks now. And it's been fine, but you know, I definitely shouldn't be driving it like this. And I'm gonna show you guys what it is. But uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's not yesterday, but 
how do I even explain? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed enjoyed the previous clips of me at the car meet, which was yesterday, February twenty uh, third or something like that. Shout out to my boy. Um, he throws meats every month, I believe. His Instagram is boosted happy underscore or something like that, or boosted official happy. I'm I'm just gonna post it right here. But yeah, shout out to him, bro. Always throwing some killer meats. Pause. Why I keep saying meats like that? <laughs> So I currently ghetto rig something on Dusty for the time being, just to get the car going. And uh, it's been doing perfectly fine, like there's no issues. But now it's actually time to actually fix this thing, or go get it fixed, because I need somebody to weld it. And I need to take off the bumper to show you guys. So let's get that done right now. Alright guys, so you tell me what's wrong here, bro. <laughs> I got some duct tape on the intercooler piping because there is a small little hole in it. I literally have no idea what could have caused it. Um, I see that the intercooler piping does have scratches here and there on certain spots, but I still don't know what could cause it. Like, I looked at the back of the bumper, there's nothing. Nothing that I could see, obviously. So, yeah, it's, I don't know. But, we're going to be taking off that intercooler piping, taking it over to get welded. And then putting it back on. And then there. Uh, that's probably... that's <laughs> Well, maybe I'll go do a pull or something to make sure, like, everything's okay. Well, everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. It's just a little small baby hole. All right. So, to remove this intercooler piping is literally just one coupler here. And another coupler... Yeah, another coupler there. So, what I'm going to be doing is going to re be removing this. <laughs> this elbow. And um, once I remove this, that should be able to come off. And then that should be able to pop off as well. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So got the pipe right here, man. Um, this is the this is the duct tape that I had on it, bro. Gorilla duct tape is actually very very strong because I gave this car 18 pounds of boost and it did not even try to pull it in. But yeah, this is the hole I was talking about. I have no idea what caused this hole right here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get that fixed because that is not good at all. Alright guys, so we made it. I'm on a GoPro now. Just because I didn't feel like bringing a camera and having a big ass camera in front of somebody I don't know. So, hopefully I get to record some stuff on this GoPro right here. So, yeah. Let's go find this guy because I don't know exactly where the hell he's at. Car still made boost with it though. It will. Yeah. But your turbo is overworking. Yeah. Working too hard. That is so far. I want to learn how to weld. Sheesh. Look at that, guys. Just like that, it's brand new again. Maybe right. something is rubbing against it. That's why I was checking. I thought something was rubbing, but the way the, the piping sits, I think, like, yeah, I think something punched the hole in it. I had duct taped it for like a week. And just drove, yeah. How long did the duct tape last? It lasts pretty for a long time because it's like some gorilla tape. Oh. So it's super, super strong. Double wrap it. Yeah. And just like that, guys, we're back on the road, man. Let's get this piping back in uh, dusty. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get, get, get back in dusty. I don't know what else to say to y'all. Um, it's crazy when people. Cause no, it's crazy. It was, uh, what am I saying, nigga? It's crazy when he asked me, how the hell did I get a hole in the piping? <laughs> and truthfully, bro, I don't even know my damn so. I'm still trying to figure out how the hell I got the hole in the piping. But, that don't matter right now. Cause it's fixed. This shit is hot though. Oh my God. Just like that. Bad man right there, bad man. All right, guys. So it's been some time. Um, as you guys can see, sun setting. But uh, yeah, I got the intercooler piping back on. 
Um, don't ask me why I put freaking heat tape on it. I just wanted to do it. I put one there and I put one like around the elbow. Just, just in case like something was to poke it, I could see like what's touching it or what's scratching it. You feel me? So that's the reason why I have that on it. Uh, probably doesn't make sense to anybody who's watching this video, but it makes sense to me. So yeah, man, um, I'm gonna get the bumper back on. Uh, I should go do a test hit to see how much boost it builds. It's probably gonna build the same amount of boost it built before, but I'm gonna do it for the video just because it's gonna be cool. And plus, I'm going out later, so have my I'm gonna have my boy record a video from inside the car. And uh, yeah, man, end the video off from right there. So yes, see y'all soon or see y'all then. Yeah, feel me.